Procedure on setting up the baby log 8000 plus ventilator. What I have gathered is a circuit, an HME, and a patient simulator. When you look at the front of the baby log, you'll notice that there are two metal adapters coming off the ventilator. One has a down arrow, one has an up arrow. The adapter that has a down arrow is for the inspiratory line. The, air, the adapter with the up arrow is for the expiratory line. This small box is the patient expiratory valve. This ventilator comes with a very expensive patient sensor that is attached at the back of the ventilator. It attaches to the patient connection. Then typically we would put an HME if we were using this setup. For today, I'm going to put the patient baby log, baby simulator on here. To turn the ventilator on, I need to reach my arm around the back of the ventilator, and there's a push button. The machine then goes into a self-test. At the moment, the ventilator is saying that there's an O2 calibration and that the measured um, switch is off, and that is correct. We will take this ventilator through all of the different calibrations when we're in the laboratory setting. Initially, what I want to show you is how to set the settings. What I've done was just push the set button, and so we can If I initially want an inspiratory time of one second, I'm going to adjust the dial to the one comma zero. You'll notice that on this ventilator, the settings are just a little bit different than on the other ventilators. Instead of 1.0, you're going to note one comma zero. It's just the different from the manufacturing. If I want an expiratory time of one second, I will dial in one point comma. And I'm noticing that each of those are being set appropriately by watching the face. With those settings, I should have a respiratory rate of 29 to 30. Oxygen concentration at the moment is set at 21. I want a PEEP of 5, so I'm going to adjust the dial until I see a setting of 5. I want an inspiratory pressure of 20. I'm going to adjust the inspiratory pressure until I get 20 centimeters of water pressure. The moment I have a flow of 6 liters per minute. Once we have set those, we can go to the measure. And that will tell me what is actually being measured at the moment. It will tell me the exact PEEP value, the exact inspiratory pressure, and then a mean airway pressure as well. On this ventilator, mean airway pressure is denoted by the abbreviations large P, small aw. When I want to set the alarm settings, I will push the button on the furthest right. And when you notice, if you stand up tall, you will see that there are a flashing on the ventilator. It's sort of an up and down arrow. Those are the alarm setting, and when I push that, I go into the alarm limits mode. This ventilator will set automatically alarm limits. I can change those if I choose to. When I look at the screen, any alarm limit that has a wider box around it will tell me that is the one that I am dealing with at the moment. The left side of the box shows minute volume, a high and a low value. To the right side, you will have seen the alarm delay, the apnea time, and the tachypnea. We have already talked about how we would set those on other ventilators, and we will use the same ranges as then.